Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in raw data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question in Strata Scratch regarding find the percentage of CPPL orders both using Python as well as MySQL and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium. This question has been asked in Google and Amazon interviews and it's a great question if you are preparing for data engineer, data scientist, BI analyst, data analyst and ML engineer roles. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, find the percentage of shippable orders. Consider an order is shippable if the customer's address is known. So we are given two data frames, orders and customers and expected output is basically one number, which is basically what the percentage of shippable orders. And let's look at the data frame. So orders has five columns and this is the values that they have. So order ID, customer ID, date, details, total order cost, right? And then you have another data frame called customers, which again has like several, five, six uh, columns with the address column and some of them have addresses, right? So basically a customer's ID and the address associated with it. So obviously if you look at it, what we need to do is you need to merge the information based on the customer ID of the order, right? From the orders data frame and the ID of the customer from the customer's data frame and make sure that we have the address associated with it, right? So what we can do is the first thing is let's merge these two data frames. So orders, so first data frame dot merge, the second data frame, which is called customers. And then since the name of the columns that we are merging on is, is different in both of these data frames. So we need to write left on and right on. So left on is basically the name of the column from the orders table or orders data frame. So left on, and from this, we need the customer ID, right? The customer ID column. So customer ID and then write on, right? So the name of the column from uh, customer's data frame. So ID and how we are merging since this is the left uh, uh, data frame and this is the right one. And we are required to calculate what? The percentage shippable of total orders, right? So we are re required to keep everything from the orders. Uh, data frame. So how is equal to left. Okay. Let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what we get. Right. So now you have, so IDX is basically Y because you know, once you merge the information in Python and if the name of the column is same, Python associates X to the left part and Y is to the right part, but that does not matter a lot in this. So you have various customer IDs, uh, you know, order date, order details and the address column associated with it. Now what we can do is we can save this in our data frame called DF. Now what we need is percentage shippable. Now shippable is defined as something and or an order should have an address, right? So obviously if we, you know, do Boolean indexing, and say that, oh, okay, wherever your address column is not null, right? Keep only those rows, calculate the length of it, and then divide by the total length of the data frame DF. So what I'm saying is firstly, do the Boolean indexing. So we are saying that, okay, orders that are shippable is where the address is present, right? So DF of address column, not null, right? So not null. So let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what we get. So if you see now every row is the one where address is not null, right? So now once you have this, so basically if you get the length of this, so it, it will give you, okay, total orders, which are shippable, right? If I run this, so it will return you. Okay. There are seven orders that are shippable and then you divide it by the length of the data frame, right? So which is basically giving you is going to give you the ratio and then you multiply it by 100, right? And 0 0.0. Why? So that, you know, we don't lead into the problem of integer division, run this, right? So you get 28. Our output is same as expected output, right? So let me go ahead and submit it. So we pass all the test cases. So yeah, uh, it is solved, right? Now let's look at how the corresponding code looks like in MySQL. 
Okay, so if you look at it, you know, same question, two tables, orders and customers, expected output is a percentage, right? The alias is percentage shippable, the name of the tables are same and the information that they contain is same as well, right? So here again, what we need to do is from this table called orders, let's alias this as O, let's left join the second table called customers alias as C on o dot customer id is equal to c dot id right you merge them and then if you you know uh, do select star so basically it is going to keep all the columns why to keep all the columns because from this customers table all we care about is the address column right whether the address is present that makes that order shippable if not it is not shippable right so let's keep everything from orders table and just keep the c dot address column from the customers table let me run this let's see what we have so you have all the order details and whether address is present or is null right so once you have this then what we can do is we can save this in a common table expression so we can write with cte as and then this entire thing goes into parentheses right and then from this common table expression what we can do is let's return the count of all the rows where address is not null so you know this is a very basic thing that you know usually people learn when they start learning sql is that what is the difference between count star and count name of a column so count star counts everything irrespective of whether a row has null or non not null values right but if you name count of a particular column it will only count not null values, right? So, you know, this is a classic example of that, that you can use that, you know, count of address. So it will count all the null, non null values, right? And then you divide it by count star, which will basically be the total length of the this table, right? That we just got okay so count address divided by count star and then this is the fraction you multiply it by 100.0 and then you should alias this as whatever is required in the output as percent shippable right let me go ahead and run this let's see what we get so you have percent shippable and 28 our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and see if passes all the test cases so yeah everything is green and this is our so not a very difficult question all we had to do was you know merge the information from the two tables or data frames right on customer ids uh, and then make sure that okay we are following the definition given in the question that any order which has an address associated with it is shippable so you count all those orders and then divided by the total number of orders present multiplied by 100 and that is big that becomes your percent shippable number so this is how we do it let me know if there's a better way or more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video